My name's Kelly Ricks and I'm an astronomy ranger at Bryce Canyon National Park. People come to Bryce and they want to see a dark sky. They want to see the Milky Way. They want to see the planets and the stars and all of that. The better that they know that, the more deeply they can see it, the more meaningful experience they go home with and the more they start to notice how they might be able to uh, affect their own skies at home for the better. When people come to Bryce Canyon, it's my job as an astronomy ranger to introduce them to the sky, to help put themselves in the context of, you know, we're living on a planet, orbiting a star in the outer arm of the Milky Way galaxy, which you can see stretching from horizon to horizon many times throughout the year at Bryce Canyon. And when we bring out the telescopes, you know, it's not about the technology. It's about looking deeper into that already very, very deep sky. I love watching the Milky Way rise above, above the rim, you know, head out to Sunrise Point. This may be my favorite spot. There are times we'll be out with the telescopes looking at planets and stars and nebulae and, and a visitor will come up to me and say, hey, what are those clouds that are rising over there? I say, that's the Milky Way. And they'll, they'll just be speechless. My first experience looking through a telescope always comes back to me. When I first looked at Jupiter and saw its moons, I remembered how excited I was, how how completely my mind was blown. And I am giving that experience to visitors who come here. And I'll see that light in their eyes when, when I tell them what it is they're looking at, how far away it is. And that to me is such a thrill. Giving other people that same magical experience that I had when I very first looked through a telescope. When I get kids coming up to my telescope, uh, I, I absolutely love it because they've got these great, sharp, observant eyes. Kids see so many more things than adults do frequently. Kids will see color so much more richly. They'll describe it more vividly. They have such great imaginations. When you go out and experience a beautiful, dark sky at Bryce Canyon, you're experiencing yourself in a new context. When I talk about you know, being on a planet, orbiting a star in the, in the galaxy, where else do you get that sense of orientation, that expanded sense of what it means to be home on planet Earth? On the one hand, it makes you feel very, very tiny. <laughs> And on the other hand, it makes you feel like something really special, something that's part of an unimaginable expanse of the universe.